Oh yes, our, our widgets are the best. I mean, they're the greatest, believe me. Nobody in history has made widgets as good as ours. Mr. Peebles, Mr. Peebles, so sorry to interrupt, but customer complaints about our widgets are growing rapidly. Uh, uh, people just love our widgets. They can't get enough of them. Uh, how can you make such high quality widgets? People ask me that all the time. But Mr. Peebles, it gets worse. 60 Minutes is in your office. They want to interview about the rising amount of widget dust pollution in the river next to our factory. Uh, yes, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm a big supporter of the environment. Uh, nobody has done more for the environment than Peebles Widgets. You can look it up. My boss won't be able to ignore the problems with his widgets forever, and you can't afford to ignore the quality of your content. Here's why. So Eric, is content quality really becoming critical for search rankings? Well, Mark, I'll put it this way. These days, I truly believe that the most important things you should concentrate on to improve SEO boil down to just two, the quality of your backlinks and the quality of the content. Based on our experience and our testing and observations working with many of the top brands in the country, I think it's safe to say that as Google's evaluation of your content quality goes up, your chances of ranking better go up, exponentially in fact, as represented in this graph. And what role does machine learning play in that? Well, Google has made it clear that they're investing heavily in improving their understanding of language and how humans use it. We've already seen Hummingbird and RankBrain, uh, which are two algorithms focused on understanding language better and interpreting what people really want from their search queries. It follows naturally that in order to match user intent with the best possible response, Google has to be able to better understand not only what searchers are asking, but what content on a page really means and does. And they're using machine learning as one of the primary tools to accomplish those tasks. And as you said, our experience and tests have shown that paying attention to content quality already can yield great results. Yeah, for sure, Mark. I mean, here's a case in point. A great many e-commerce sites have little more than bare bones descriptions on their product pages. But for one of our clients, just adding highly relevant user reviews to the product pages resulted in a 45% traffic increase for those pages. In another case, we replaced written for SEO text on category pages of an e-commerce site with handcrafted content that was highly useful to the site's users. As you can see in this graph, Doing so led to a 68% increase in traffic to the pages where we improved the content, while a set of control pages to which we did nothing actually lost 11% of their traffic. And we have a lot of examples like that. I mean, we're doing nothing more than improving the content on pages resulted in dramatic increases in organic search traffic. Yes. Now, let's wrap up by explaining why Google is investing so much in machine learning in pursuit of understanding content quality. One place we can see this is in Google's attempts to bring quick answers to questions right into the search results with various rich answers, most prominently with featured snippets, which take an answer from a third-party site and feature it at the top of the search results. The featured snippet you're looking at now illustrates the challenge faced by Google. The searcher is looking for the coldest day on record in US history. Clearly, Google's algorithm recognized that the page from USA Today had the answer Yet the snippet shown doesn't contain that answer. Now something like that could easily be corrected by a human editor, but that's not practical at the scale of the web and with the variety and number of queries Google tries to answer. So they have turned to machine learning, which can over time learn how humans use language and what they really mean by what they say and do it at a scale humans could never keep up with. So you've written a great deal more about how Google is using machine learning to better evaluate content in an article on Search Engine Land, which we'll link in the notes of this episode. Can you give our viewers a few takeaways that they can use and apply to their own sites? Sure. First, of course, create high quality content. We can't go into all that means in this brief video, but I think content quality is something most of us know when we see it. Next, measure and continually improve user satisfaction with your site. We believe that in addition to the actual content on your page, Google is using machine learning to better understand and reward pages that have a better user experience. And then finally, establish authority with good links to your pages. While not a content-related factor, we've proven time and again that good links are the foundation of better ranking. 
When you bring together a good backlink profile with awesome content with a great user experience, you have a killer combination for better results from search. Thanks, Eric. Now, speaking of quality issues, I wonder how things are going for Mr. Peebles at his widget factory. That's right. I personally stand behind every Peebles widget we produce, and our thousands of happy customers back that up. Mr. Peebles, sir, sir, there are now 17 class action suits against our products. Will you please stop interrupting me with the facts? I'm talking to very important people here. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. If you won't listen to me, maybe you'll listen to some other very important people, your customers. Come on in. Your widgets stink. Your widgets, one of your widgets gave me acne. Your widgets turned me into a newt. I, I got that done. Get him! Seize him! Burn him! Wow. Hello? Yeah, thanks for calling Peebles. Uh, I mean, Eric's Widgets. 